Good morning everybody. Um, we've been having some pretty miserable weather over the last few days so it's been tricky to get my lessons going because I don't believe it's fair to ask you to train your dog if you're not comfortable because if you're not feeling your best I don't think you can ask to get the best out of your doggy. So I thought I'd do a quick video this morning while we're out on our walk about recall, which is, can be an issue for lots of people, for lots of different breeds of dog. Um, I've got a Doberman here, German Shepherd mix, and a Malinois Spaniel mix. Rosie's 16, Hobo is four, and this Dingleberry is nine months. Um, I walk with treats in my hand. I say treats, but it's really just a big scoop of kibble. They've already had their morning meal, um, but I always walk <laughs> with a handful of kibble in my hand. And because of that, my dogs stay quite close to me. I won't say they're always next to me, but they're usually fairly close. And then it means when I want to recall, there's a reason for them to come back to me. Now, um, with dogs that might not be as sticky because all three of these breeds are quite sticky anyway naturally um, but you may have dogs that have got very strong scent drives in them um, or sight drives in them you might want to use something a little bit more rewarding when they come back to you than kibble so that's why I always use hot dogs in my training and all we're going to do is when they get a little bit far oh, so Cairo here Good boy. When they get a little bit farther away or when I can see they're likely to go off on a jolly jaunt or if maybe I see someone coming out in the distance because you've always got to have a 30 foot <laughs> field of vision when you're walking your dogs off lead, um, I call them back. But you'll see at the moment, I haven't called any, Rosa's jacket's falling off, can't keep clothes on. I haven't, keeping, I haven't called any of these dogs back yet and they're all very close to me still. Um, so that means, and so when I call them back, I'm not putting them on the lead. When I call them back, I'm just giving them kibble and letting them carry on. So that means, should I see someone up in the distance with a dog, and, I don't, and that dog tends to be on a lead. If another dog's not on a lead, I generally don't put mine on a lead because it can create all kinds of nightmares but if the other dog's on a lead I generally put my dogs on a lead and I just do that <laughs> so Cairo here here good boy so at this point then I just hold on to his collar put his lead on him and away he goes so off we go for a walk he's at nine months so he's starting to be a little bit reactive he's coming out of it again now he's gone through his second reactive phase of wanting to bark at other dogs that he sees He's actually coming out of that now. We've been working on that with high value um, rewards for paying attention. Um, pilchers, uh, no, what are they? Freeze dried pilchers of something gross and smelly, hot dogs. Um, it all works. So practice this on your walk to this morning. Um, obviously don't do it if you know your dog won't recall at all. <laughs> But just practice getting your dog used to coming back to you when there's absolutely no reason to. And you'll start to find they come back to you. Just be careful. You'll start to find they come back to you even when you don't ask them to. They just naturally, like how we teach walking to heal and click reward, click reward. Then we just reward. You'll find that when they're off lead. <laughs> Rose has been doing this a long time. <laughs> They also just naturally want to look back to you and see what you're doing, seeing if there's anything nice to eat. Like I said, they're not starving. Um, they've all had their breakfast this morning. Just a small breakfast in the morning before they come out. Um, with the Doberman puppy, he can be quite demanding. So I've been employing the halt technique. Is he hungry? Is he um, angry? Is he lonely? Is he tired? What, what, why is my dog being a pain? So. I try and keep him not full of food, but I try and make sure he's got some food in his belly most of the day. He doesn't actually eat a lot. He's not very greedy, which is nice. Okay, so I hope that's helped a few of you. 
just to work on that recall. Obviously, if your dog doesn't come back to you when you call it, don't do any of this off lead. Work with a 30 foot line. Do not work with an extender lead because that will encourage your dog to pull. Get a nice flat 30 foot training line. You can find them on Amazon if you search. Flat 30 foot training line. I like brightly coloured ones because on mornings like this you always know where the dog is because you can see the lead. And don't let that dog run past 30 feet. Let it get to around 15 feet and call it back to you and give it a treat. If it doesn't come back, simply stand on the lead, hold on to the lead. And um, I think I'm going to do another video to explain how that works, actually. But yeah, so don't do this. If you know your dog won't recall, <laughs> don't do this. If you know your dog recalls sometimes, do this. This will, obviously in low distraction areas as well, this will just increase that bond between you and your dogs and get them coming back to you without any negative consequence. Because I think we all know, we call the dog back, the first thing it does, looks around to see who's coming and why it's being called. Then it thinks about whether or not it should come back to us. So stay safe and dry in this awful, horrible weather. This is not my, uh, this is not my speciality weather at all. And I hope I get to see you all soon. We've now got stick. <laughs> Good boy. Goodbye from Hobo, Rosa and Cairo.